I feel like this video is going to be relatively short, but I'm not really sure about that. I'm Wang, by the way. So after construction a building, we assume that the building itself is going to stand there for a long, long time. For interior part, we can always tear it down and change the layout after as we wish or suit our needs. However, it is kind of hard to apply the same thing to the exterior part, which is a building facade. Here comes the first question, what's the definition of elevation? Elevation is an illustration of the building facade. Or you can also say elevation is a 2D projection of building in the vertical dimensions. By the way, if your client doesn't really like your elevation, then there's a high chance that he or she will not be a fan of your building facade after construction. And this brings to you another question, who's the one to take responsibility for that? And how to fix it? Or let me get this more straight, Who's the one gonna pay for it? The second question is gonna be what's the purpose of creating elevation? The first one is easier to create a good looking facade. In the drawing, we're able to control the scale, the texture, the ratio, and the proportion of the design. We'll have a clear sense of what's going on as long as we see the elevation drawing. The second purpose is the elevation drawing is the time saver. As a designer, we will negotiate with our clients back and forth with the visualization of the building facade. Feedbacks from the clients will be more clear and we will know what exactly to do to execute, which is saying we will save time of the communication and save time to do the modification. The next purpose is gonna be the easy accessibility. After design, before construction, or even before the CD drawing, we kind of want everyone on the same page. No matter you are a client, builder, or contractor, the elevation drawing is going to be a really, really good reference here. The next question or the next topic is going to be how to draw an elevation. This depends on your workflow. If you're designing 3D, you just pull up the elevation view, which is the front or back, left or right. Select often and type make 2D. What kind of program am I using? Well, I use Rhino and real architects use Rhino all the time, period. If your workflow or your design is in 2D, first go find the lines that represent for a building facade and then draw some guidelines from the floor plan and give them a distance, which is the floor to floor height. Make sure you do this to every single floor and laminate it all together. The next topic is gonna to be about the graphics. The first one to know here is the annotation, which including but not limited to the label of building facade, the scale, the dimensions, and then the height info. Next is the ground line. Usually we're supposed to apply a thicker line to represent the ground since we're cutting through it. But nowadays for the aesthetic reasons, it is not mandatory to do that. So do whatever you want, all right? The next point is gonna be the line weight or shadow. So both of them are optional, just do whatever you want. As for the line weight in a building scale, that differentiation of one or two feet is not gonna make a lot of difference in the drawing. And let's say you do want to apply the line weight to the drawing, how are you going to deal with the curvy facade? And well, shadow can fix this, but here comes another question. How to do the shadow for the north facade? And the answer is easy. You fake it. Another thing we kind of want to mention about is the digital drawing and hand drawing, which is the two different format of the elevation drawing. First, let's take a look at the digital drawing here. So this is drawing I did in my fourth year in college. And by the way, if you can like set your layer properly in Rhino first, you're able to do the line with fast, like really fast in the Adobe Illustrator. Pen drawing will be divided into the pencil drawing and the pen drawing. As for the pencil drawing, I recommend you to check out Pencil Architect. Yeah, right, that's a deal, right, that's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. 
And as for the pen drawing, check out the analyst thoughts. Draw. Information, I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feet, niggas out of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably Dallas. Both of them did a really good job, and I'll leave links in the description below so you can check them out. Oh wait, when I scroll down my account, I found something interesting. So I have a set of drawings. Since I have 3D model for often, let's see what else we can do with it. So I am gonna post this video before February 10th. Wish me luck.